What's happening, punk? What's going on? Are we about to do a video? That's pretty exciting stuff, huh? What do you think about that? Welcome back, you guys. I'm Winter. I'm Sean. If you're new here, we purchased land, raw land in North Idaho and plan to build a homestead there. Today, we're gonna to share with you some of the steps we're taking preparing for our move to Idaho and the preparations we're going through and also why we're doing the video content we are right now. We really want to get to work, but we're kind of limited because there's a lot of snow up there right now. And so it's a waiting game. It's just planning, preparing, mm -hmm. making sure that all our ducks are in a row or as many as we possibly can so yeah. that we can hit the ground running and give you that kind of working content. So we first want to say we appreciate you staying with us yeah. and uh, watching our channel. Uh, we're asking you, please subscribe, share, notify others, um, and comment below while we're doing this uh, so we can build this channel and hit the ground running when we get there. So something you might have noticed behind us, and we haven't ever told you guys really the story about it, but this piece of work that we have hanging behind us is really special to us. I actually got it with my best friend. We were at what's called Junk in the Trunk. I will put a link in the description because if you're ever here in Arizona or in San Diego, you would not want to miss this event. It's super fun. But I happened to come across this and we were like, really? Arizona and Idaho in one art piece. And we were so excited that I asked Sean if I could purchase it and he was like, do it. So we've now had this hanging in our house and it just reminds us of obviously the two places that we, we love dearly is Arizona, Idaho. So it's something that we'll always have and we'll cherish and we just love it. So this is how we keep ourselves organized on what our move is and what we need to do. If you notice in our move preparations, that's pretty slim. It's because we keep our, our notes on iPhone notes app. Thank you and a shout out to Marty and Julie Johnson from uh, Martin Johnson's Off Grid Living. We also have the purchase. Some of the major purchases we still need to uh, make is a 14 foot utility trailer, a tractor with the snow plow in it, our property goals are the septic, the power, solar, gravel on our road, water, we're planning on doing totes and hauling water until we drill a well, and then the shop plans. All right. Our next trip to Idaho is going to be rebuilding the shed that it was on the property already, burning a burn pile that's as big as our house right now, <laughs> Uh, clearing more land so for our septic, our solar, and also the remaining parts of our shop. Security lighting and cameras fix that gate. There we go. Awesome. Quite a bit to do. Yeah. It's going to be a great trip. We have lots of other ways that we keep ourselves organized. This is just kind of like the beginning stages of all of that. Mm -hmm. But again, we started using the notes thing on the iPhone that really helped us get more organized as well. So um, there's nightly conversations basically on preparations. I mean, every single night after work, that's basically what we're doing is we're focusing on three how can we, <laughs> or yeah, it could be three o'clock in the morning. Um, that happens a lot, actually. Um, it's amazing how the list grows because we share the list between the two of us. So Sean will add stuff, I add stuff randomly, and it could be at 3 a.m. when I'm waking up with this great idea and we're like, oh, we gotta get that down. So we immediately just write it into the notes. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, and we hope this encourages you to go live your dreams. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever form and fashion that is, and we're really enjoying our conversations with people regarding this on other platforms mm -hmm. also, and phone and in person. Um, you guys are coming up with great ideas. Uh, things that we have not thought of, which we really appreciate. You're also uh, encouraging us as we're trying to encourage you. So we believe truly that you have to be 
you know, adventurous in life. Life's short, we need to live it, so. What are some of the ways that you guys stay organized? Resources, uh, people, lists, websites. What are some of the things that you do in order to keep your, yourself organized when you're trying to meet your goals? All right, so I'm sure you noticed that we have some pretty cool new swag t-shirts. And we had in our previous video shared that we were really excited to give away something, right? Yes. So what we have decided to do is if you would like to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is share this video with someone that is not already subscribed to our channel and have them comment in this video below that they are newly subscribed and that you sent them to this video. So we're really excited for each of you to start sending in those people and the more people that you invite, the more opportunities that your name gets thrown into the hat for a new t-shirt, uh, Abundant Living Home Center's t-shirt. Also included is we're going to be giving away free hats. One of my favorite tools is a steel chainsaw that I used on the property as well as some other steel products. So hats, and then we're also going to be giving away utility knives from Leatherman's. So you're gonna really wanna get in on this. It's going to be fun. All right, so be on the lookout. Winners are gonna be announced on Saturday, March 18th. Mm -hmm. Make sure to be looking for um, more information in the, the description. Again, you guys, we just are so thankful for each and every one of you for sticking with us while we're trying to get through this process mm -hmm. of transition from Arizona to Idaho and just get up there and start building. Yeah. We cannot wait. Also put in the comments below whether if we're missing something on our notes that you noticed or just any anything that comes to mind. We're very open and uh, straightforward about this stuff. So we're more than willing to admit that we what we know and what we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So we appreciate you guys. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna do it.